Homelessness has always been a large issue, but most people do not associate it with college students. People have this image of what homelessness is and generally think of an older person who is seen living on the streets and carrying all of their belongings. There is a growing demographic of homeless college students, but many of them are not open about their living situation due to the stigma surrounding this issue. The cost of living and the cost of education have greatly increased over the years. Room and board alone for the current semester at Cal State Long Beach ranges from thirteen to fifteen thousand dollars. Also, the average rent in Long Beach has risen by fifty-five percent in the past six years. Trying to find affordable housing as well as paying off tuition and still having money for the basic necessities can be very difficult, even while working. According to a study done by Professor Rashida Crutchfield of Cal State Long Beach's School of Social Work, one in five students are in need of food and one in ten students are in need of housing. So we sent a survey to all 23 campuses, over 400,000 students, to find out what their experiences were with food insecurity and homelessness. And we found that over 41% of our students are food insecure and almost 11% of our students experience homelessness at least once. Food insecurity is also a huge issue among the college population. Many students cannot afford to eat balanced meals and may even be forced to skip meals as a result of this. Worrying about whether or not you will have a place to sleep or food to eat along with the stress that comes with school and debt makes it difficult for students to focus on their education. Although homelessness and food insecurity are issues that affect students at Cal State Long Beach, the university has created a number of resources for its students in need. The Student Emergency Intervention and Wellness Program helps students with housing and food insecurities to seek immediate assistance. Through this program, students can apply for a student emergency grant of $500, can be enrolled in the Meals Assistance Program that provides free healthy meals in the University Dining Commons, and they can even be helped by the Short-Term Emergency Housing Program, which provides displaced students with access to temporary housing on campus. Students, in order to qualify to be placed into an emergency housing dorm, basically have to prove that they're having affordability issues and then exhaust all of their financial resources, which include FAFSA, financial aid, and basically loans. We're basically putting a student in debt at times to help them. We asked the CSU Long Beach administration how many students seek emergency housing assistance. They said they don't know. But the numbers are significantly growing as awareness of their program has increased. Another great resource is the ASI Beach Pantry, which was created in the fall semester of 2016 as a response to the growing number of students experiencing food insecurity. They took an empty storage closet on a local college campus and turned it into meals for students who might otherwise be studying on an empty stomach. It's called the Beach Pantry on campus at Cal State University Long Beach. The student government, along with the help from a local charity, stocks the shelves with cans of chili, tuna, oatmeal, and other goods, staples of most college students' cuisines. The Beach Pantry is located in room 313 of the USU and relies solely on donations from students and faculty as well as from various community organizations in Long Beach. These donations provide perishable and non-perishable food items, drinks, toiletries, and school supplies that are available to all students in need. Hi, I'm Mary Tess, and I'm one of the student assistants here at the Beach Pantry, which is located in room 313. So yeah, the Beach Pantry is for students who, have, who may be facing food insecurity. Um, they're able to uh, grab up to five items from the food section, five from the toiletry section, and five from the school supply section. As long as you have your student ID card and um, you're a current student of Long Beach, then you're able to utilize it. We also get fresh produce from Grove Beach um, and donations from all around. So um, come if you need it. Up to 300 students visit the Beach Pantry per day, so they are constantly working to make sure it is stocked at all times. The student representative shared that everything that you see in this video is usually gone in just a few hours. The Beach Pantry also receives fresh produce from Grow Beach, which is an organic garden on campus. We can't succeed as students if we can't be active in our education. And if I'm just like, if I'm here all day and I can't afford to eat, I can't focus on my classes, I can't perform well on my homework. Um, we as a campus, um, as administrators, as faculty, as staff, as students, we all have to invest in the pantry. Um, definitely we have a lot of students who need support. Although there is still a lot to be done to take on these issues, it is great to see how Cal State Long Beach is trying to make an effort to aid its students. We hope that this video sparks your interest, whether it is to learn more about getting involved to help or to inquire about obtaining these resources.